What's up, Bloom family? Pastor Tyler here with another Morning Devo. Happy Thursday, and I'm really excited about what we're going to be diving into this morning. I was listening to a pastor uh, talk on the, uh, the big storm happening in Mark chapter 4, and I think that this is such a, a timely message. I know that we, we're hearing this story a lot, but there's a reason that we're hearing this story a lot. And the way that this pastor was talking about it is in Mark chapter 4, this is when Jesus is calming the storm and see Jesus is in a boat with his disciples and they're in the Sea of Galilee and what's happening is the Sea of Galilee is surrounded by these big mountains and what happens is cold air comes down the mountains and it meets it meets the hot air that's on top of the water and it creates these big massive storms and that's exactly what's happening right here in Matthew chapter 4 and what happens to sum it up as this big storm comes out and all the disciples are freaking out. They're like, oh my goodness, this is it. This is how we're going to die. And my man Jesus is back in the back and he's just sleeping, right? Doesn't bother him. But all of a sudden the disciples are freaking out. Jesus wakes up and he calms the winds and the waves immediately, right? But I love what he asks after he does that. He asks them, why are you afraid and do you still have no faith? And I think that that's so huge because what he's asking them is he's, he's, he's not saying why do you still have no faith since I calmed the winds and the waves but what he's asking them is how do you still have no faith after you've seen me do everything I've done to this point point?" and so if you look in Mark from uh, chapter 1 to chapter 4 there are so many miracles that the disciples saw Jesus do and so that question of how do you still have no faith after you've seen me do Everything you've seen me do to this point is so incredibly powerful and I want to challenge you with that today. So exactly any mindset that you're in right now, after you've seen Jesus move in the way that he has in your life, how do you still have no faith, right? Storms can be really scary, but what you have to remember is Jesus is with you. Can you imagine what it would look like if there was somebody in the boat that reminded all the other disciples that Jesus is with them? When, they're, when the storms and the, and the winds and the waves are coming and everyone's freaking out, if there was one person that said, wait, 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 guys, 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 Jesus is with us. We're gonna be okay. Do you not remember him healing that girl? Do you not remember him doing this miracle? No, guys, we're gonna be okay. And can I just encourage you real quick? You have a platform to do that. With all the negativity that's happening on social media, you can be that light that says, you know what, guys? No, Jesus is with us. We're gonna be okay, right? Storms can be scary, but Jesus is with you. And I'm just so thankful for that this morning. And I hope this word speaks to your heart this morning. But let's just pray. Dear Jesus, I thank you that you are with us. God, I thank you for everything that you have brought us through to this point, God. And we know that you are not done. Just like we sang this past weekend, God, I've seen you move. You move the mountains and you can do it again. We thank you and we love you. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.